Top two gaming in all of World War Two. At a 1.29. Obviously, right? Who well, else would it be? It's brilliant though, right? Is that not brilliant? Does that not paint to you, Phil, the most exciting and, and dramatic tension between these two teams? Either way, here we go well and truly into this one. EG versus Optic. Now, as far as I, I can tell, and I was, I'm pretty sure I was listening, Phil, but if a team gets 3-0'd, it's very bad, right? <laughs> pretty sure you were listening to everything that Ben just went in a lot of detail. I hope you were. Uh, but luckily, I mean, yeah, Optic Gaming, they can win 3-2. At the end of the day, these guys can both go through. Uh, it, it just depends on the result. But we'll break it down as the maps go by. But kicking things off, Evil Genius is here on uh, a strong start. And, of course, that rotation going down very shortly, but 15 seconds left on the pit centre. Let's see, of course, if Ace can keep up that so far so good kill to death ratio against the green wall i love that i kind of want to see it again <laughs> just get, pop up in the middle it's not it doesn't really mean anything but it does it means so much it means so much more than just that either way silly and co eg have got a nice start here but over the fort card courtyard we go off to gaming now with a chance to bounce back into this one in a big way methods has made his way now sneaking just behind enemy lines with three members of optic making their way through the archway here silly's there in position doesn't make anything happen as methods finds him Octane, despite taking the first few hits, manages to walk away with that one, but Aches once again from behind, trying to lock down those spawns to the back end of Fort Courtyard. And this has not been a very good hard point for either team. EG have had to fight tooth and nail to keep Optic out of here, but in that time, they have really been unable to get the time themselves. So, Fort Courtyard, over halfway gone, not a whole lot of time garnered by either team. So far, we yeah, obviously Optic Gaming trying to put the pressure on, but Scump is going to be denied. But Scump had a lot to prove coming into champs, and obviously with a poor playoff, uh, stat line, if you want to say, he just didn't play well. It's as simple as that. He'll want to come in here hot and, you know, he's looking for the back-to-back -back right now, of course, alongside Krim, but Octane and Methods, two players which have got so much pressure, you know, just joining Optic Gaming alone has so much pressure. Yes, it has a lot of perks. We're not going to go past that, but, you know, people want championships. So far, they haven't got one. They'll be looking for the first this weekend. Hungry fans, they want results. And I'm sure we all do, and this is one thing that these players know how to deliver. Octane, of course, winning on LG. Meth is winning his first championship here on World War II under Rise Nation. And again, they're winning players. They know they can do it, but can they do it together? Krim making his way through Castle Road. Optic now with the hard point for the time being. It's all on Krim at this stage, though, as he's trying to tussle with Aix here at the back end. This is an important kill. He needs to get this one. He needs to make sure he's helping his teammates get the spawn. Octane's going to do it for him, and that's big. That is going to give us 24, maybe 23 seconds left now of that Castle Road that is potentially going to be going towards Optic, but no one was in it for the time being. Octane hanging on now. Cock is slowly ticking. As you can see, EG not necessarily committing to attacking this one. I think by the time they get there, they've weighed it up and they think it's going to be a little bit dry and they're not going to get too much out of this one. But App is in behind. He isn't going to have to take care of Methods. aix has got him, but Krim, it's a matter of time. This has been a great set of kills as we are about to flip over to Torrey. And just like that, EG have set themselves up for a very sweet chunk of time. I love what, uh, what Apathy did there, the way that he kind of pushed the old one, but he actually rotated round. He's going to sneak on in, but... Is he going to be able to find methods? There's the first. Will he put the charge in, or is he just going to hold tight? The communication will be going down, and I'll tell you what, he's going to pop up, find one, not the second. That would have been beautiful for Apathy, but Octane finds the double here. Scump takes the head clean off of Silly, and now Optic Gaming looking to close on in as Apathy jumps back on this hard point. Evil Genius is here. They've got a, a pretty steady lead, but it almost seems a little bit slow. You know, this is the fourth hard point. The score only sat at 90 to 48, so the contention has been going down as well. So a little chunk of time taken off there. And this is huge. This is what we saw in the previous hard points where EG, they may have control and Optic may be, or sorry, Optic may have control, but EG make it so, so hard for them to get any time out of that one. And now slowly but surely, they've been winning the gunfights, they've been managing to rotate round, and now they've got they've got the hard point all to themselves. Yeah, it's scrap time. Yeah, you're right. We should be having a way higher scoring game here. Um, coming into the next, coming back to pit center, but at the same time, it just goes to show how tight EG are keeping this and how they're just putting so many restrictions on Optic Gaming. They've got them in the armbar and they're not really letting them go, but they're not letting them tap out either. So this is going to be interesting to see if EG can maintain this through our next set of rotations. And Optic are providing the kills, I mean, Scum's the only one who's not really going off at this stage at 7 and 14, but regardless of that, a little bit of a chance here to get some time on the board for the Optic fans. Yeah, interesting as well to call a hard point, something that Optic Gaming were pretty solid out. We'll go into this one, see if Scum can do anything. Oh, still a little bit slow, and I think that's just going to be more frustrating than anything for, for Scum himself. Obviously, Krim Octane and Method pretty much neutral across the board, but nevertheless, it's not always about kills. We'll have to see how this one combines, but Aix is going to be shut down by Methods. Methods actually rocking the PPSH, and he's got that STG in his back pocket, which he started with, but this is big here. Miles, 10 seconds left. This is where they hit the rotate. These kills are everything. They start to push forward. They start to spawn on out. Look at the minimap number three. He's out of there. 
Huge. I mean, Methods was in there. Potentially with that gunfight against Silly, but a nade from over the top is going to seal it. A Apathy now coming in from behind. Aix watching that back end again. Aix, a brilliant anchor for his team. He has done. He did a fantastic job in the first fort courtyard to prevent Optic from even getting their hands on the time. Can he do the same thing again? Watching that back end. Apps on the front line now, taking care of these Optic players as they come by one on one. Salt watching the rear end to the side as well. Beautiful work from him. That's two in a row. Silly now. Can he contend with these players as they make their way forward? He's going to find Scump. Scump just jumped straight in the window. Managed to find two out of that one. That's huge. And now we've got Optic in the hard point. But for how long? Salt now coming in. All those players of EG are back off of spawn. This is it. They're going to have to contend with that Optic push. How quickly can they get there? There's two players making their way through middle now. And Aix, he's going to try and cut the legs out of this push. And he might just be able to do that one. Optic slowly but surely getting back into this one. But Aix says no. So does Scump with three kills in a row for him. That's huge. Can he find a fourth? Apathy's going to take care of him with that nade. Yeah, six and two in the last couple of minutes here for Scump. As he's now just negative five. But still, he's trying to turn it up. He's trying to change the tides here as optic gaming they're looking to break that triple digit mark and you know what they're gonna have a nice setup here going into this castle road with 58 seconds a whole minute here to play with crim 6 he's pushed so far oh my goodness doesn't win it there but method may be able to find one he's actually backtracking here to the cave he thinks plays are on the flank they're actually not they're pushing straight down the choke points up top and down low but here it is the coordinated push octane's gonna tag one he's gonna find the second as well He's got the teammates around him. Important kills as these are going down right near the hard point as well. They are going to spawn right at the back here. But it's the second wave of kills that's crucial. And right now, EG are going to push on in and push on out here as Optic came in, my goodness. That's, uh, that's a difficult one. That was a pristine push from EG. The patience from Evil Geniuses to make that work was absolutely sublime, and they really did. Octane now back into the fray, and we do have Optic in control for the time being. 10 seconds left now on Castle Road. It is not going to be enough. As you can see, the scoreline is getting closer and closer. Optic will be able to take the lead here. EG not quite as manipulative or as Machiavellian in their attacks as they were in the first set of rotations. They managed to do a huge bit of work, all falling off the back of Apathy. That amazing flank was also him rotating for the next hard point, and this is not to be found here in the second attack. 137 climbing, EG with control for time being. Assault though, again, sneaky plays, two beautiful bits of work there. He's going to find Krim up top as well, but no need, still he's behind him. Evil Genius is absolutely everywhere right now, smothering Optic. They've got control, 40 seconds left on turret, and they could get a huge amount of time here for and that's going to put them well over the 200 point mark. Right now, EGR in the lead here, so he rotating around. Look at this, he's having a great time in the cave. 23 and 19, the standout player on that main stage right now as he tosses a wild grenade out there. It's not going to connect, but Optic Gaming it, are in a difficult position. You look at the minimap, you see Skump trying to push through the middle. It's not going to be a good position for him as Krim and Octane single file. EG are taking every single second of this turret hard point. We're going to be going to the third rotation here with Evil Genius pretty much at 190. 50 points ahead of Optic Gaming. Yeah, that's enough. There we go. That turret, not too bad for Optic, not too great for EG, but again, a lead to lead. Silly making his way back towards pit center. Something we've seen Optic hold on to generally more, and I'm sure the stats will back that up. But Apathy now on the screen, making his way through the back end. Lovely kill, just nipping the top of Skump's head there. He's going to get rid of him. He will peek up. He can contest. We're Optic in control. They've completely smothered the mid-map. They've got all the angles covered, and all they need to do now is just contend. But EG are going to bait this out, play their lives as smart as they can. And a lot, as long as the timing's good, and it is good, they've just managed to get two picks. Krim and Skump are done. And now the time stopped ticking. Octane now hanging in there as best as he can. These kills are important. He's got to get his teammates back in there, back off spawn. And Octane, two big kills. Not a third, but at the same time, he's got his teammates back into the hard point. 20 seconds left. This is, again, really important. Get themselves back in there. Apathy with streaks. That's going to definitely come into play a little bit later on. But in the meantime, EG with a relatively comfortable lead. Optic nipping at the heels. 20 points right now, but Optic Gaming dominating here in the middle. And obviously the rotation is key. Krim picking up a kill will be great, but he's not going to find one. He's actually going to go down as well. Where's Krim going to spawn? That's the question. With the players pushed out here, he's got to find himself at Castle Road. Glide bomb coming on this is looking great for Evil Genius. He takes another one down. That's Apathy onto Method, but Octane takes two with him as well. It's not going to be enough though as EG. They are going to be set up. The artillery barrage is going down as well. Miles, I feel like this could be the end for Optic Gaming if they do not break through straight away here. This is going to be tough for him to fight back. That's a devastating artillery barrage. Managed to get an easy two, but Crim's in from behind. He's now managed to sneak on through, and this little bit of sabotage could just work. One on one against Silly. Manages to get the kill. Apathy, though, hungry for it. If he can find him and get him out of here, this is going to be huge. Oh, my. Oh, spawns, they've actually managed to do it. They've flipped over. 20 seconds left. That's good. They're just going to be able to over, over the 200 point mark now. Octane's in mid now. They're going to hold these players back. This was big. That was looking a little bit scary for Optic. They're in a nasty position, but now 
getting back into this one. Fort Courtyard hasn't been great for them, but they've just managed to change that one. Can they alter their fate here as they move straight over to the next half point? Five seconds left, 200 cracked. Octane, he's going to have to win a very big fight now to hold on. Yeah, Krim actually just saving Optic Game and Bacon there as we go to that maybe last hill here. But you've got to see Scumby struggling once again. He didn't have the playoffs that he wanted. He's now 16 and 30. Can he turn up in the final minutes? 225 and counted. Evil Genius looking to close things out, but Krim and Octane are not letting it go without a fight. Apathy aches doubling up here as they do have the spawns. It favors Evil Geniuses, Miles. Might do Octane again. He's got to put himself in the same position. He has to win this gunfight. He's got to get over the top. His teammates are pushing through bridge. He's got one. Methods finds another. They need to go now. Scump's got to make something big happen. The clock is ticking. There we go. One big kill. Aix is up next. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. If he can make it happen, he does. Scump, he does. 10 seconds for the win for EG. Optic can make it happen here. Assault from behind. This is huge. EG swarming all over the hard point. 20 seconds. They can still win it. App gets it done on Octane with the back of his gun. Five seconds for the win. Optic are nowhere to be seen. It's all coming down in methods. He's shot out of the sky. EG take map one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do we have a game on our hands here? You see, Pat. Aches, get to his feet, get loud, trying to get the team a little bit of momentum. They know the only way of guaranteeing themselves here is a 3-0, but there are different variations which will see them through. There is one, one very, very small percentage chance that Optic Gaming, the reigning CWL champs, don't go through, and it would be a 3-0 at the hands of EG. And if you said that to me before this game started, I'd have been like, yeah, but there's no way that happens. Map 1's Gibraltar, Optic is amazing. Even if their SD and CTF hasn't been great, they're fine because of the hard point. And now I'm like, oh, uh oh, oh, oh no. no, Aix is here, Aix is ready to play. <laughs> like, oh dear. Ooh, Patty that Price at it again. That's a rough start. That is not the start, obviously. And you look at the sub battle, Apti like 34 and 18, and then the opposite, Scump 18 and 32 or 33. Yeah, hate to see it. Is that the key for you from that map one? Was it really that kind of heads up fight? I, it's, well, it's the, mo it's the easiest indicator. I didn't watch okay. the whole thing because I'm watching complexity too. I don't know if there's crazy hills or not, but that's the easiest thing to pinpoint. There's one player massively sure. negative and there's one no, player sure. massively positive. Uh, it seems to be the clear cut way to look at it. And now it's tough because, I, I mean, you know, you have faith in Optic, but what to win an S&D, like that is, that's scary. It's I, scary now, it's I, scary. It I, really I feel is. like let's not, let's not hit the panic button just yet, right? Uh, because Optic just need one map. One map, and it'll, it'll, it'll see them through. Very similar to Team Envious, of course. They got the job done against Prismatic. Uh, over on the complexity side of things, 2-0 up in the series. Uh, I believe their CTF is tied 2-2. But I want to take a look at uh, the play of the game. It, it, it was insane. I mean, it truly was insane. Uh, we saw it live, but uh, without further ado, the Scuff Gaming play of the game. Uh, Ricky, that crazy, crazy clutch. It, it was nuts. 1v3 situation. You're thinking, all right, this essentially could swing momentum in the entire search and destroy here, Phil. Yeah, this this is Moritari's chance to go 3-1 up. Instead, they end up 2-2 and they give all the momentum back. But Ricky picking up two kills from the cabin. And then, this is the this is the important thing for me, is just the way that he plays this. He's smart, he's controlled, his back's against that window. So he can't really get shot in the back unless he kind of crawls up on him and just the movement, the positioning. A lot of people think Call of Duty is just about that, that natural shooting you know right, can, right. can you lock onto someone quickly yeah that's a part of it but it's the way you move around it's the way you duck and dive and uh, you know your mental game as well but ricky search and destroy you know that's what he that's what he's known for yeah he's been doing that for a lot of years that's for sure uh, but of course draw our attention back to the main stage up to gaming evil geniuses eg10 up <laughs> surely miles there isn't a world we live in where the reigning champs don't get to bracket play we're not quite in the end game yet where Optic are really like, we're in trouble. Are we close? We get, well, we're one map away. <laughs> we're one <laughs> That's map true. away from potential disaster for Optic Gaming. But what's been the, you know, it's not exactly been the, the game type that they've been relying on, they've been leaning on, it's not been good. But TP told me 13 hours of VODs a day of going over everything with S&D and CTF being the absolute focus going into this competition. It is now do or die. Uh, the thing about like watching VOD for S and D though, like for map two, well, EG has been horrible at S and D as well, so they're going to be making changes. So I don't know how much you could really take from the other team if they're swapping their strats up. Like you're not going to get similar looks. So Good it's point. tough to say of like how much information you're really going to get before this series starts. And of course, EG, well, they have the exact same thing at their disposal. So it's going to be a huge mental game from map number two. You got Forest, which these teams have played time and time again. Well, I uh, just heard a couple of E6 players clapping in the background. Moratori has gone 4-2 up in the CTF. That is going to extend the series. So, Complexity, job not done just yet. You've got to make sure you don't get reverse swept because uh, 
That would truly be a tragic way to lose your spot uh, nationwide. Yeah, Doug's not winning champs if he gets reversed. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Doug's probably getting yes. on the first flight home. Yeah. That's probably what Doug's going to do. But uh, talking to first flight home, it's not safe so far for either of our two teams on main stage. EG, Optic Gaming, Evil Geniuses with the series lead. One. Oh, we now head over to Search and Destroy. We're going to the Arden Forest. An EG win here could really, really shake up the rest of this competition. Shaken. Stirred the competition. Here Sorry. we go. EG up by one. If they win the series 3-0, it's pretty much it for Optic Gaming. But either way, Optic just need one map. Can they find it here in the Search and Destroy? It would be absolutely crucial for them to do so. Here we go into the first round. Incredibly aggressive play from Silly to get in there. First blood there. Straight on a crim. Octane with a snipe. Close range, not able to make it work. And it's fallen apart at the seams here for Optic. This is not the round they wanted, but it's certainly the round that they've been given. And it's not looking too bad. Now the Scumpy's got a kill, actually. We're going to get back into that one. Meth is charging the bomb site. Can he catch these players off guard? He can't. Scumpy's in there as well. Hit fire. Oh my not a word. single kill to be found. All those bullets, not a single one found its mark. And EG, blessed by the COD gods there in the cabin. And the face says it all on Optic Gaming, but Apathy. I think he got three to four there, so he kicked things off with the first blood, but Apathy is that kind of play that can go Super Saiyan. He can go into beast mode. He, he, you know, he's got a ring to his name. The guy's done it all. And this is crunch time. This is where normally, you know, in, in the past or the, the history of Optic Gaming, it's kind of, you know, the clutch team, the one that always comes out on top. It feels different, Miles. I'm sat in the seat and I feel different. I feel like this is Optic Gaming, which has had a bad year. This is Optic Gaming, who hasn't kind of come up trumps. And so many fans back home, obviously, watching and cheering them on. Give me your support. They need it right now as EG a 1 0 up and Silly strikes again. It's not over yet. Silly, though, again, another first blood. Apathy with perfect timing. It's now a one man down for Evil Geniuses. Can Apathy find another? Two dead for Optic. Oh. Make it three. Falls to Octane. He's now being hunted down by the members of EG. It's a 1v2, though. Silly again. Silly's a player we need to watch out for because he's when well, he's hot and he's confident. EG's search and destroy is so devastating, and that's really what we've been seeing so far. Octane with the shots. Trying to bait something out of there. He knows Aix is in the cab, and he saw that little gun. Just poke around the corner, and a relocate here would be ideal. 40 seconds on the clock, though. The bomb down just in the outskirts of the cabin. Octane's got to find his keys and maybe make his way through the back door if he can, but you can see the two guard dogs watching the front, and Aix gets it done from a distance. That's another round, two back-to-back -back now for EG. The craziest thing is if EG win this and go 2-0 up and not to game in reverse sweep and win 3-2, like, they both make it, but it's just like... Yeah. I don't know if it's just me. I get this different vibe. I get the Patrick Price vibe. I get this, you know, the, the, the crazy, crazy situation that it can be but optic gaming they are a team that again you've got to go back they've got four fantastic players on their squad they're 2-0 down but this is not this is not out of their control by any means we know what they can do on ctf but let's just take it one round at a time miles and then maybe worry a little bit later on here is silly charging forward two first bullets to his name can he make it three if he does lightning will continue to strike in favor of eg so he's been our first blood champion not to be found here octane down range lovely shots Aix, that smoke, though, is going to slow down the aggression there of Optic here on defense. Bomb's making its way slowly towards B. At versus Scum. On Gibraltar, it was very much Apathy's map to win, but Silly in from behind. There's another first blood for him. Minute now is about to tick away, and we've got two dead for Optic again. Krim and Octane now fighting for their lives. Three members of EG alive. They're going to flood over that B-bomb site, potentially get a plant. Octane hoping for something special here. They are opting to take care of mid-map first, and the rotate around the rear is going to be great, but Aix is on rear guard duty. Lined up over the top, shots are through, that's big. Octane now has to completely rethink that. He's unable to help Crim6 now, so Crim's got to back down as well. They've got to rethink this, and with 30 seconds left, and now a bomb down. Uh-oh. This is looking very different for Optic. So th it's a 2v3 retake. There's, again, three engines here, and EVG, they're, they're on form. It feels like they're, they're hyped up. They're on the main stage. I don't know if you guys can hear them back home, but they are getting excited here, and you can see why Octane Six feet under, and again, Crim6, no matter how good you are, you're not winning that gunfight here. And EG, 3-0 up in the map. Not the series, don't panic yet. But again, Optic Gaming, they're search and destroy. We heard Ben and obviously Chance talking about it during the break. Like, we're talking 12, 13 hours of VOD reviews and whatever it may be. Yeah, that was me. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, you're right. Oh, it's sorry. not working out. It's not working out, though. You miles. It's still early days, though. For those of you who have just joined us, I mean, this is the final match of this pool's play, and the winner of, well, if Optic get one map, they make their way forward into the championship bracket, into the nationwide arena. EG, they can still win it a 3-1. They can make their way through. 3-2, they can win it. A 3-0, of course, will be doomed for Optic Gaming. But EG can still win if they lose this 3-2. If they lose this in game five, they can still go through. Octane, snipe on your screen. Hoping to find a pick here. They've had to mix up the strategy in a big way because at the moment, EG have just absolutely got them dialed in. They're not missing anything. Silly has been ruthless. Three first bloods to his name. Not a single death. Aix hasn't died either. One minute left on the clock. We'll see if Octane can't find a pick. And again, EG deep on the defense. You can see he's not found a single thing yet with this sniper rifle. And if he does, it's going to be fantastic. And that's maybe a little too ambitious. Octane a little bit antsy. See if he can't find something on the rebound. Methods making your shots down the bunker side as well. And 40 seconds now, the clock is ticking, Momo. I know we not, might not be in panic mode, but it seems like Optic Gaming are struggling. You know, I, I'm not sure how this one's going to work out for them, but nevertheless, Optic Gaming, they need a round, and you don't want to go 4-0 down. First blood could be key, and Octane misses the shots, and now it's apathy. He's been doing so good so far, but Krim comes in, Aix goes wild, and now a 3v3. There's only 20 seconds left, but Methods, he strikes again. This is a must-win round for Optic Gaming. Get on the board, and they've got full control of B. Without that kill there on Octane, though, I mean, this could be a 2v3 right now, and at this, ta at this stage, Assault and Aix, they could have actually maybe pushed the bomb site before they got the bomb down, but regardless of that, now it's a retake. 40 seconds left on the clock. Optic with the numbers for the time being. And the defense. Can they make this one work? Salt's going to be pushing this through the back. He's the player on your screen now. Aix is trying to poke a hole through the front defence. Stump's not in the best position to find a kill here, so that PPSH at this range against Assault is not ideal. But look, you see he's trailing him forward. He's kiting him through now with 20 seconds on the clock. He's going to put him in position where he's going to have to get hit by two players of Optic. But that is going to draw the attention. And with that, Aix could maybe make a play on the back end. 14 seconds now. The clock is ticking. Beat a sweat all over the place. Scum absolutely fearless gets that kill. And Aix is going to back away now. And wisely so. The right-hand side of your screen. Streaks for him. Four kills, no deaths. He's going to live to fight another day. Yeah, uh, and that is a, probably a big sigh of relief for Optic Gaming because, again, you just need to get over that first hurdle. It's almost like they're climbing the stairs, they've slipped a few times, but now they're, they're, they're the first feet are on that first step. They've got a couple more to go, Miles, and, of course, it's not just on the S&D. You guys at home, of course, they, they can lose the S&D, win the CTF, but do you want to put it down to that last map? Absolutely not. Are EG, is EG a Mason at S&D? Absolutely not either. This is, <laughs> this is like... It, it's funny because it's like it's crazy. It's ne champs. Neither of these teams are fantastic research. Like it's not their it's not their go-to game type. Either way, let's see how we go. Octane did find a bit of intel there, and Aix is absolutely decimated by a tidy shot. Octane finally finding a mark there with a the snipe. Scumpy had a nice round last time. As we saw some great play from him as he worked his way around assault, manhandling him if you will. Assault though that bar now. Swapped out from the STG. Scump with a vicious, swift retribution is a 2v2 right now. App with the bomb making his way forward. Scump on the defense. Shots are in silly's damage. Beautiful work from Scumpy. Can he get any more of this one? Apathy's next. And that's why you call him the king. What a round from Scum. Good stuff from Scump. And he has actually turned up in the search and destroy. He started off with uh, three kills to his name, except not the rounds to back it up. This time is finishing those rounds. He's got two back to back for his squad right now. And we saw, and I think the important thing for me there was the, the trade. When a teammate pushed through to fire, he, he went down, and Scump actually chose to go out, pick up the kill, get back inside you, and then he goes and gets another two to his name. So maybe working towards streaks again. So, again, that second step, Miles, he's working his way up, and Optic Gaming most certainly still in it. Round number six. Scump seven and three. So far, so good for kill streak. Two rounds back to back for Optic. This is big. I don't think we're seeing uh, Octane with that snipe again. Oh, no, there he is. Thank you, Paradox. Not able to find anything, though. And again, EG, this is the defense they prefer, that 2-2 two -two split. Two towards A, two towards B. And again, the deep position they're in before. Oh, Silly managed to snipe out methods there. That's an interesting bit of a plot twist. Can Octane find it? Again, he doesn't want to be baiting this one out. That's pure enemy at the gate stuff there. Starring Jude Law. Men left on the clock. Methods is down. Silly with snipe. Five kills to his name. Again, this is big. This is the defense that they love. They love being super deep here. Not expose themselves in the slightest. App's going to have to back down now. He does have eggs to help him. Scump, again, not the position he wants to be in with that PPSH, but he can still make it work. If he can get through and get clear, he might just be able to do it. Shots are through. Eggs with a beautiful kill there on Scump. That is pristine bit of work. And another dead. That's it. It's a perfect round. Absolutely false. Not a single member of EG went down there, and they picked apart Optic one by one. EG. 
starting to run home here with a search and destroy. Optic two rounds back to back, but two rounds away from going 2 0 up in the series. What a storyline this would be. Still plenty of time left, though. Still got games going on behind us, of course. Catch it over at Bravo and Charlie and Delta, but right now I would not be going anywhere. Optic Gaming on your screens here. They are down, but Smoke's certainly not out. Here we go. Smoke's a plenty. Scum's already been tagged up. My goodness, Silly's actually there with him. Scum should have regen by now. Bit of help. Methods over the top. Silly in a position to almost make a huge damage. Doesn't get it. Krim, Octane finding kills, aches him from behind. Can he back up app? He can. He's made his way through. The newcomer though, there we have it from around from Optic. Like, honestly, man, I was on the, I was I was eating my words there where I was like, Silly's in from behind. He yeah. tags up Scumpy. If he manages to get that kill, honestly, that round looks totally different. That death, Silly's death, meant that EG had to absolutely and truly commit to that play, commit to that push, and in the end it didn't work out for him. Optic held true, they won the trades, and they're back in this with a chance at four to three. I really thought that Silly there we, we had the potential to take down two, maybe three players. Like, just the way that it was, Scump was already weak, but doesn't happen, doesn't work out for him. He got, obviously, pinched from the side as well. I think it was Krim who took him down eventually, but again, the game gets tighter as we go to round number eight. It looks, once again, like a heavy B push from Optic Gaming, but EG pushing on through. Who's going to be the one with the first blood? Apathy sees the shadows looming. He's got to find one, connect, and he's out of there. He doesn't want to... Ch oh, my goodness, Octane! No, oh, what are you doing? Too full for Optic Gaming, and that is heart crushing. Heart breaking there. Oh my goodness. Apathy with the most beautiful hip fire I think I've I've seen in quite a while. Two clean shots into that into Octane. He's made his way up the ramp there. And EG can afford now to spread out. They can afford to just like breathe as deep as they want. Unfortunately, Krim got taken care of there. Scumpy went down, you know, in, in a fair fight, but Krim was friendly fire. 45 seconds now left on the clock. They've given up the B site, but. You can see them like sharks circling in the water. They're all around. They've got lanes to choose from. They've got the numbers to work with. And I think this is all part of the evil genius's master plan. Let them plant. And now they can make their way in as best they want. Methods has got to watch three lanes from up top. He knows they can be coming in from all sides. He's only got Octane watching the back end. And here comes the smoke. Here comes the push. Evil geniuses have got the players to burn. They've got the guns to work with. Can they make this happen? It's a 4v2. Methods backing down. He's managed to make the right choice. One kill on Aix. It's down to a 1v3. Methods can't get it done. That's going to be it. Map point now for evil geniuses. They're going to get the defuse. They played that one to perfection. There was no need to sweat it. And now things are getting a little darker for Optic Gaming. This is you know, where your stomach's in your throat. It all gets a little bit too real. If you're an Optic Gaming player, fan, whatever it is, if you are supporting the green wall, this is this is nerve-wracking times right now. But EG are one round away from going 2-0 up in this series. We are not even in the arena yet, Miles. Optic need a map win in order to secure themselves a place in the nationwide arena this weekend. And the team on your screen certainly thwarting that plan silly first blood mastermind doesn't even need to get it done apathy's there this will be it for the win two down two to go methods is on the bomb site can he find something through the smoke he cannot it's all down to octane it's a flawless round here from evil geniuses they go up two nil here in the series well there it is ladies and gentlemen eg celebrate map number two optic game in the green wall they only need a map but if eg close it out in three it's going to be a wild, wild time in the arena. Ladies, gentlemen, it is not over. We're going to see you after this quick break for Capture the Flag. Can Optic Gaming stay in it?
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what could be a uh, pretty historic next 15 minutes or so here at the Call of Duty World League World Championship 2018. Optic EG on the main stage. EG currently find themselves 2-0 up. We said they needed a 3-0 to almost put their fate in their own hands against Optic. A lot of people laughed that it couldn't be done. It wasn't going to be done. Never count out Aches, though. And he's managed to put his team 2-0 up. And here's the scenario we currently stand at. If EG are the 3-0 Optic Gaming and Elevate win their series against Supremacy by any amount, the reigning champions will not go through to Nationwide. They will not get to bracket play. As it stands in the Elevate series, Elevate is 2-0 up against Supremacy. If you're a Green Wolf fan, that game just became so, so important. That's gonna be on our Delta stream. I recommend you open that one up, but uh, a chance, you know, I asked Miles, when do we start to panic for the reigning champs? Is it panic time right now? As soon as Optic loses a hard point, that is full panic. It seems surreal. I, I like almost don't believe the situation. It doesn't seem right. And it comes down to a uh, forest CTF against evil geniuses who granted they're not dominant on this map. Sure. But they're super controlled. They're very, very passive. They're a tough team to beat. Can Optic beat them? Yes, obviously. You talk about force, you talk about ARs. You got Scump, or not Scump, excuse me, you got Methods and Crim6 is a great AR, and then Octane in the back end. So, can Optic do it? Yes, but like, I'm nervous for them at this point. Like, it is genuinely scary. It really is. And uh, Miles, I know you've been concentrating on the uh, on the casting and you've done a fantastic job at that, but you haven't seen the player reactions. No. The, the, the way the players are reacting is that the big crowd starting to form as well from some of the other players. Uh, this could truly be pretty insane here, Miles, if, if they were to lose. I cannot, I mean, again, we, we've just said it, the, the reigning champs don't make it into the championship play based off of the results of, you know, one map win. All they need is one map win. In the series before, we talked about how it's so important that they 3-0 a team in order to make championship play, in order to make it out of the pools. And now, you're talking about a team making one win right. in a series where they arguably should be far more competitive, they should be contesting. And they're not finding anything at all. We are now in the end game, man. This yeah. is it. You most definitely are. And again, 388. If you're an Optic Gaming fan out there, I definitely recommend you open up the uh, Delta stream. That is a huge game. Elevate Supremacy. Any Elevate win 
is the worst case scenario for Optic Gaming if they get 3-0'd. You would fail to go through to bracket play. Of course, for Optic, they do just need one map, and it could well be this map. Capture the flag. Iden Forest. If you're an Optic fan, it all comes down to this. Ten minutes, two flags, and an entire weekend of players and fans' hopes and dreams on the backs of those four shoulders. I now, this is a big one, Phil. Yeah, and I think Ben put it so well in the fact that he summed up EG's playstyle on this. EG, we, we kind of talk about their SD not being great and their hard points a bit iffy, but they're actually really, really good on CTF, and, and they're very controlled. Optic Gaming, this is, again, this is where you, you're nervous. This is where you, you're really, really kind of back against the ropes. And the flight's got to be pulled. I, I can't do this anymore, Miles. Let's chuck it over to Optic Gaming. Let's hear it for a listening for the boys on the green wall. They still might be broken. Yep. Check broken. Uh, we're standing over. They're standing over. I saw broken. I saw broken. We're good. Good fucking I'll get your router. I'll get your Fire tank, fire tank. I'm in a hit bell. I'm in bell. I'm behind them. I'm behind them. I'm sending fire. I'm sending fire tank. One's watching pinch. One's watching pinch. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Fire alive. Fire alive. Pushing Dorito. Fire alive. Assault. Where's he? Go back to you. I'm going back to you. I'm going back to you. First in bunker. First in bunker. Yo, fire. Bunker. 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 What is Dorito? Fire. Fire. He's in Buck. Buck, we tune in. We tune in. We're missing one. We're missing one. He was Dorito. Back up, back up, back up. Nice. One, one, one in her bunker. In her bunker. That's him. Happy. In her bunker. I think that's no, him. Still in her. Still in her. Okay. I'm, I'm absolutely, hitting broken. Absolutely. I'm hitting broken. He's absolutely to the right. He ran away. He ran away. He ran back bunk. He ran back bunk. I'm holding this. Literally just trapped him. I admit. I admit. I'm at you. One's you, Pit. Dead. Nice one. Let's go, boys. I need a fire tank. I need a fire tank. One's fire tank. Outer, outer, outer. Nothing fire tank. That was him. That was him. Bunker, I'm He's on Dorito. He's on Dorito. He's on Dorito. Nice. Bunker, we get. Let's go. We got battle cheeks too. Yo, back, 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 back. I'm literally playing my life. I'm playing my life. Go back to you. Go back to you. Bunker. Nice. All right. They're they're pinned in. Yo, in you, in dip, in dip. Where you go? Dip. Happy you went fire tank. I think you went back to fire tank. You got broken. I have every fourth. Every fourth. I have seven. Behind army. Behind army. Behind army. Yo, Happy's five and one. Okay. He's weak. I spawn back bridge. Fire, fire. All right. One's in you. One's in you. In you. That's probably app. One's in you. Weak. I'm coming to help you. I'm coming to help you. I'm coming to help you. Dash is him. I'm one shot. He's close to me. I'm looking at the heady. Hold on. I'm watching the top. No man's no man's no man's no man's. That's him. That's him. Set them hidden. Yo, he's fourth, 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 fourth. Pushing, he's pushing. I think. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm playing card. Now, up now. He's already on flag. I'm flying. I got second. Nice too. It could be ice. Could be ice. I'm staring at Assault cabin. Assault cabin. Yeah, we spawn out. We spawn back up. Oh, he's in you. He's in you. Assault's broken. Assault. He's going back to you. Back to mid. Back to mid. Back to mid. I double this with me. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm close. I'm close. I'm gonna hit the corner. Nade left. Nade left. He's on the heady. One shot. Close side. Close. Here we go. You heard it there themselves. The players know how serious this is. Slight hint of desperation, a slight hint of panic, but still control, composed. As you can see, the score's still nil-nil with two minutes left on the clock. This is really all that matters now for Optic Gaming is a map win. Two minutes left in the first half, and Krim picking up a nice double, and here we go. The green wall are pushing on forward. Assault, a dominant assault rifle player in his own rights, and he's gonna just hold tight here on his own flag. Will the flag go out? First wave denied here. Can Scum do anything differently? Finds the first methods there to back him up. He's gonna jump on out. He's gonna fall as well. Methods might just want to stay alive. He's got Octane as well. He's gonna peek out, but silly has his number for now. And that flag is going nowhere. Miles, 90 seconds left on the clock. Optic, great position. Don't get me wrong, but these flags have barely moved an inch here. Yeah, still, both flags. I mean, again, the initial opening gambit from EG was very, very powerful, very strong. But since then, they haven't really been able to find anything too devastating, too effective. Apathy on your screen, trying to make his way through middle, does find Scump again. He has certainly been the stronger of the two submachine gun players in this series thus far, but not to say that Scump's been without his magic, because he's certainly a wizard indeed. A silly still making his way forward. Three members of Optic now have managed to pierce through the bunker. Aches. Last line of defense for the time being is he gets methods. Assault finds Krim as well, and Silly's got the middle pinch, so that's going to be it. They flush those three members out. The invasion has been stopped for now, and here they go. Scumpy's the last player left alive for Optic, and he can buy the time he needs. But again, the gunfights are not in the ideal scenario for him. PPSH does damage, does wonders, but he needs to find his teammates. They're backing up, find Silly. Aix is down as well, and once again, Optic with a chance to charge forward. 30 seconds on the clock, one flag, one pull would be great just for the spirits of Optic Gaming. The hard point was denied, the search and destroy, they were crushed here, but CTF, just one flag. 
can be the game-changing moment here for the green wall with 15 seconds scump is still just sat there it looks like he's not even trying to put the foot pressure on but maybe the last 10 seconds he'll start to push forward and here he is look at number five he's been spotted and he's going to be taken down no flag pulls as the three seconds ticks down miles just to check in on the other side elevate one oh up we all know what that means optics still need a map win Elevator looking to close the series out 3-0 against Supremacy, which puts that pool into absolute disarray if you're an Optic fan. Why am I why why am I getting goosebumps right now? Why am I shaking miles? What is going on? We love it, baby. It's, it's Thursday. It's, it's Thursday at COD Champs. How is it already this dramatic? I'll tell you why, because Optic need one map win to secure themselves in place. That's our reigning world champions. They need to find themselves a single map win. Five minutes of capture the flag here in our dens. It's a chilly Belgian Forest, can we find something? EG with their cold, methodical play, controlled, very reserved and conservative optic, hoping to puncture a hole through that one and find something. Already silly off to a good start, Apathy. As he makes his way forward, he's found Krim, easy peasy, right for the picking methods now. Next in line, Apathy's making his way forward. That's his fourth kill in a row, he's now 11 and five. Can he find any more? Not a chance, Octane answers that one. But the pressure's mounting now from Evil Geniuses. They're making their way through. Octane with another glorious kill. Krim finds Silly as well. A sigh of relief now for, Opt for, yeah, for Optic fans, but Aix is still alive. Talking of Aix, let's jump on board again. I, I want to hear what's going on with, uh, with the side of Evil Geniuses with an Astro Gaming listening. Zero, zero. Yo, fourth, fourth now, Kevin. Uh, get ice, get ice, get ice. Get ice. I want fourth. Fourth, 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 Four, four, four. Push up quick. I'm getting dumb. I'm getting All right, set the spawn. Set the spawn. You on left? Okay, push 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 two up. Left's open. Open right. Three up. Go, 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 go. They're all up. They're all up. Nice. They're all up. They're all up. That's the first guy. Yo, I'm getting from bunker. Hold on. I'm flanking. I'm flanking. Try not to set it. Burn my fault. Flanking bell, guys. Watch out. Watch out. Side, side, side. Side weak side. Absolutely. Back up. He's on the back bunker. Back bunker. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Just a fuck. Side one shot. Nice. I'm one shot. I'm one shot. Just a fuck. Back flank. Back flank. Back flank. Peg. You gotta go. Corner. Dead. Nice. Bunker. 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 Crimson spawner. You gotta go. We gotta go. I'll see you, man. I'm shouting it. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You can grab me. He's at the rock. He's deep at the rock. He's chasing with a sub. He was deep. I'm trying to get your back. Watch fire, watch fire, watch fire. 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 Watch fire, watch before this flag goes in, though, Crim's going to be cut down. A quick update. Elevate is now 2-0 up on the Delta stream. EG, a 2-0 up. Miles, this is chaos. Absolute chaos. Scumpy trying to keep the dream alive, making his way forward. Two flag caps is absolutely nothing. Optic can make this comeback, but EG, they'll come alive. 14-9, Apathy, 10-7, Assault. The kills are coming thick and fast. 16 first uh, aches on his own. Apps trying to keep this push alive. Does get dropped down by Krim. Now we've got Assault still making these plays happen. That's the defensive run. Methods is forward visit. Too little, too late. All of his friends are dead and he's going to be joining them. Now we've got Optic on the defense again. Here comes EG. One going through mid. We've got two guys on ruins and the other one making his way through the open field. Can Optic find something special here? The trades are important. The trades are great, but Assault, this is a great position to be in. Scumpy's just been taken clean care of out in the open field there. Methods, last one left alive. He needs to do something real special right now because, again, the pressure is mounting. The knot is tightening around the neck of Optic here as we go into our second and maybe final minute of this CTF. Miles, there's two minutes left on the clock. EG, we went into this game uh, and Ben talked about it. They, these are a, a slow, calm, consistent team on CTF Arden Forest, and they are taking it to Optic Gaming. Scum's 10 and 18, Octane 9 and 15. The slaying power is not there, but Krim, can he pull something out the bag? Four players down, he's all alone, but their fly's gonna be pulled. There's no streaks to help him by any stretch of the imagination. It's 90 seconds. This is the difference maker, Miles. Eggs, can he find something? The flag's on the move. He's got to sniff these players out as quickly as they can. There's a player in mid. It's going to be Apathy. He's going to be watching the players in middle. Skunk's about to walk straight into him. Can he find it? No. App's going to get the kill. Octane's going to find another one. Aix is going to get this next player. krim has got the flag. They still have control of middle. Octane versus Aix now. Aix does get dropped. That's absolutely huge. We're back to a stalemate with a minute on the clock. And this has got to be a very decisive win here on the stalemate because Silly's got flag for EG. Krim has the flag for Optic Gaming. The minute now ticks down. 
second by second. Optic need to make something very special happen. And this is actually going to be the way to do it. Stops in. He finds out. He's going to make his way towards the back now. Here comes the Optic push. They're all committing. The keepers ran out from the goal. They're going for absolute glory here. They absolutely need to. Two dead now for Optic. Two for EG. It's going forward. Ace finds one on the turn. Ace almost gets another. There's the return. Flag's going back now. 30 seconds to get another cap. And looks like... Octane's alive. The flag's out. In 30 seconds, can they make this happen? They need to hold tight, and they being EG, but Optic Gaming, they need to push forward. This is the chance. They need to tie this up with 20 seconds left. They need a touch on the flag. Here it is. One wave of kills for evil geniuses. Eight finds one. Assault finds another. Just methods. He's going to be taken down. I think it's all over, Miles. Berlin Hadrian's great walls that have fallen throughout history and now you can add the green wall to that pile ladies and gentlemen Optic Gaming have been eliminated from COD Champs Potentially that could be the case there are two more minutes For Optic Gaming's fate and it comes on the Delta stream right now. We're gonna go to a live look at